This one may surprise you, but it's very, very important. In fact, I would even say right now, something to take away, uh, the horrible events in Nepal. Um, you think, you know, the, the, the horrible earthquake and what's going on. Um, the bad guys will take advantage of even incidents like this to send out messages, phishing messages, asking for funds. Now, obviously there's many wonderful organizations that will collect money to help those who have, um, you know, had the disaster happen in their country. But unfortunately, the bad guys will use those kind of situations to do fraudulent um, types of emails. So I guarantee you that's probably already happening right now. In, in, in around the world, if you look at uh, some of the major attacks in the United States, but certainly here in the Middle East, you look at Sony, you look at what happened with uh, Target, you look at what happened with Anthem, major healthcare provider. The breaches began with spear phishing. The breaches began with spear phishing. What does that mean? They tried to get the credentials of the employees in the organization. So in, in, to many people, they would actually appear to be insider threats. Because if somebody from the outside can get the credentials of your trusted staff, and they can gain the access to the trusted staff, then they can access those systems. So this says 95% 2013. In some cases, it could be 90, 85%. So one of the ways to give an example of this in Michigan government that really happened. It's very hard to probably see this slide, but this is a true story. Um, basically, I'll read this to you.